doing a radio.com check-in right now with the Kid Leroy, and it's exciting to get to talk to you. I think you're one of the most exciting artists in music right now. How's oh. it all feeling? Stop it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, I feel great. I'm just out here working. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it, it's awesome because it seems like you have just like a ton of support from like some of the greats, like Elton John, hearing that endorsement was insane. Is it creating a lot of pressure for you? Because it's been said that you can't make a bad song. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I, I, uh, pressure, yeah, it does, but at the same time, I don't know, I just, I feel like you just kind of let that type of stuff get to you because... I feel like the moment you start thinking about that stuff too much, that's when it takes away from the music and it, and you start like worrying more about that than worrying about the actual thing that got you to the point in the first place. Yeah. So I, I, I try not to, I try not to worry about that stuff too much. I just focus on making music and doing whatever. Well, that's awesome. You've been teasing us a ton on Instagram. Can you tell us what's coming next week? Maybe a hint. Well, see, the thing is, I thought it was coming next week. It might be the week after now. I'm still trying to get it out next week, but uh, it's a song. Um, I like it. I think it's cool. It's kind of different. It's it's a little different to the stuff I've been putting out. Um, Yeah. It's more upbeat. Uh, It's produced by DJ Mustard. Um, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's sick. It's sick. I, I, I like it a lot, though. I think, I think, I think, I hope people like it at least. Yeah. I think it'll be well received. So um, it's upbeat. Did you kind of go into that knowing you wanted to do something a little different or did it just kind of magically happen? No, it just kind of happens. That's kind of how like everything happens with me. Like I just go in and just like whatever I'm feel, whatever I feel like when I'm someone tells on a beat, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do this. And I just automatically get an idea and I'll just go in and, and do it. So I never really go into stuff like with a plan because I'm like, yeah, the plan like well, at least for me, whenever I go in with the plan, it always fails, so. Yeah. Um, when creating music, is it all from your perspective, or do you ever just create from anything going around you, or maybe something going on from somebody in your life? I've definitely done that before. I've, de- I've definitely made a I, It never came out, but I definitely made a song from somebody else's perspective. I did do that before. Um Everything I've put out so far has just been my has been from my perspective and stuff I go through, and I think that's and that's how I make a, a like damn near all of my music anyway is just yeah. by you know uh, stuff I go through and just how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So yeah, well, congrats on all to, all the success. Seriously, I'm on quite a few different radio stations in different formats, and your music is on a staple in all of them. I'm on in top really? form, and I'm on in alt, and you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> stations yeah that's sick sick. yeah yeah no it's it's really cool um what is your favorite song that you've made maybe it changes day to day but right now in this present moment what are you kind of the most proud of uh i mean in terms of like just in general it's one that's not out but in terms of one that is out it would it would probably have to be without you i like i love without you that's one yeah my favorite song i put out 100 percent. yeah no bs I, i that is my favorite song that i've heard of yours as well Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So do you want to talk about this Twitch stuff? You're, you said you're going to come back and start streaming? I was actually, I, I used to stream on this app called Caffeine, and a lot of my fans really liked it. And I, I loved it, too, because it was a time for, to, for me to, like, really, like, get to know my fans a lot better. And and I, I stopped because, you know, it just got, like, a bit much for me. And, and but <laughs> I was actually on, on YouTube, and I saw something on my recommended, and it was like, a stream that someone had screen recorded and put up online and I looked at it and I was like damn I missed this so I was like I'm just gonna do it again <laughs> so then yeah I just literally started a, t- a twitch account because I forgot my old password a new account but yeah. yeah it's gonna be sick it's gonna be good that's cool well I saw a f- ton of your fans requesting that you release the song stay is that ever going to be a possibility <laughs> Most definitely. Yes. Wow, you know, you know all the, you know all the, all the fan tea and stuff. You know, you know what's going on. Well, yeah, I mean it's prepping, but it's also I think you're dope, so I want to. No, I, I like, I, I like, I like this, I like this type of stuff because it's not the regular like. There's not a lot of people that awesome. inspires you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Um, 
so you know besides of course what will be released in a few weeks or whenever that does get dropped is there anything else that you're working on right now working on the, on a project on my album my first proper album um because the lawsuit the, the first one was a tape like a mixtape and then the next one was the ep so now i'm just working on a real album but um yeah, I'm just working on making a whole bunch of, I'm experimenting with different sounds and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, hopefully some some good comes out of it. What's on, what is like the thought right now for the album? Is it going to be kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a story or like a theme or like anything you're kind of trying to fit into a certain box? Because I know, you know, when it goes to creating like a body of work, it can be so stressful because you'll just create so much music and you have to dial it down to what fits. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, the thing is, like, when I make a when I make a project, usually, like, what happens is, like, it'll be based off of like, like, all 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 the music that I make will like be on a similar theme or like similar topic, and that's how I get the project. Usually, is like, yeah, because everything I'm going through happens in like phases. So, I'll go through something, and that'll be the project. Like, because that's all I'll hear about. That's all I'll keep saying in my music and keep talking about different things and then at the, I'll, I'll get like a good like three songs where I'm talking about all right cool this is and then nail it down like okay this is what we're gonna make the project about and then just finish it from what I need to do from there so is it hard when you're creating songs and like especially ones you get more excited about that like you want to release it right now or do you have to like feel like you have to hold on to them for this project like um, songs are you kind of like sitting on right now that you're like oh I just wish I could put them all out <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that about every song I make, I'm like, damn, I want to put this out right now. But yeah. It, but it's like, I just, yeah, it's just all about, like, timing and strategy and shit as well. So. Yeah. I feel like I'd be the worst artist because I'm so impatient. I'd be like, no, I need to put it out today. I'm, I'm <laughs> hella impatient, too. <laughs> all right. Well, awesome. Do you have anything else that you're working on next? Any music videos coming out? Any um, Any other projects? Yeah, I'm always working on that type of stuff. So it's going to be a lot this year. A lot this year. I'm going, going crazy this year. So, yeah. That's awesome. Well, you know, you keep your fans fed. We appreciate it. And again, congratulations on everything. I think you're going to be around for a really long time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. The Kid Leroy, thank you so much for doing a Radio.com check-in with us. And good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from Radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?